Good morning. Welcome to my laboratory. Okay, what you're looking at here is my big jar of water. And I've taped a transparent ruler to it. Inside the jar of water, I have a floater. It's just that flat top. So we'll put that in there and we'll pre charge it. So that it is now floating. And we will note the water level. Well, I lucked out. I got it right back exactly three three centimeters there. Okay. Now I'm going to simulate the action of the horizontal bipolar rams by taking this much water from the buoyancy part and moving it to the top of the floater just like the rams do. They suck in water from the outer annular chamber and transfer it to a weight sitting on top of the floater. So go in there, fill up that jar there and now I put that on top of the floater assembly, like that. That slight half a millimeter increase in the position of the meniscus is coming from the added weight of the container, not the water. Uh, focus, damn it. Okay, let me take that water back into the chamber. Like that. Okay, now I'm just going to take the empty this empty container and just set it on top of the floater. So you can see that that little half millimeter increase ah, in the position of the meniscus is coming just from the weight of that little plastic, this little plastic jug here. So if I fill that little plastic jug with water from the annular ring wall, if I can get it in there, come on, you try this with one hand. So this is the ram filling up its little chamber and moving the weight of that water to the top of the floating, floating assembly. And get it to come to an equilibrium there, it's not really well balanced. So I guess you can see that the change in buoyancy by removing water from the outer annular chamber is exactly offset by the change in weight of the object that's being buoyed upwards. There's no change in the outer head by this process.
If the diagram that's been shown, that animated diagram, is correct, those horizontal rams sitting on top of the Zs, uh, they're not doing any change in the head because the offset of buoyancy is exactly equal by the offset of weight. Thanks for watching.